City High School in a high poverty neighborhood in the United States, less than half of entering ninth graders eventually graduate. And even those who do are often unprepared for work or post-secondary education. While the problems many students face start before they reach high school, their harmful effects often become apparent in the ninth grade, an important transition year when poor attendance, bad grades, and low rates of promotion to the 10th grade all increase the risk of dropping out. What can be done to turn things around for high-risk high schools and the students they serve? Hello, my name is Karen Hurlihy and I'm a research associate at MDRC. Over the next few minutes, I'll describe some encouraging findings about a comprehensive school reform initiative called Talent Development, which was designed to address the biggest challenges that low-performing high schools face. The findings show that in an independent evaluation of talent development in five high schools in Philadelphia, Talent development increased school attendance by about five percentage points. That's nine days per year for each student. For a high school with about 500 first-time ninth graders, it helped an additional 125 students, fully 25% of them, pass algebra, and an extra 40 students, or 8%, get promoted to the 10th grade. There are also indications that positive effects are beginning to extend to 11th grade math test scores and to graduation rates. These improvements can be attributed to talent development with a high degree of confidence because the research method used in the evaluation, which compared changes in student outcomes in talent development schools to changes in student outcomes in similar, low-performing schools in the same district, is unusually rigorous. Let me explain what talent development is and then give you details about the key findings. Talent development was designed in one Baltimore high school to help improve student performance and engagement through major changes, both in the way the school and its classes were structured and in the ways the classes were taught. In 1998, talent development's first and most ambitious scaling up effort began in Philadelphia, a city where throughout the 1990s, more than three quarters of students in the district entered ninth grade with reading and math skills below grade level and where each year about 40% of ninth graders were not promoted to the 10th grade on time. Talent development aims to change poor outcomes such as these through five main strategies. The centerpiece of the model is the Success Academy, in which ninth graders are taught in small learning communities, that is, small groups of students who share the same cadre of teachers for their core academic subjects. The students receive instruction using specialized curricula in extended class periods of 80 to 90 minutes, a schedule that accommodates double doses of English and math. Other features include an after hours program for students having special difficulties, and in the upper grades, small learning communities that provide course choices built around career themes. Teachers also receive sustained professional development on site, as well as ongoing support from specialized coaches throughout the year. All these changes were expected to create a more personalized learning environment and to enhance students' attitudes, levels of engagement, and sense of confidence. So what happened in the five high schools that implemented talent development in Philadelphia between 1998 and 2004? For first time ninth grade students, talent development raised the number of academic course credits earned, boosted attendance, and lifted promotion rates. Most notably, Talent development produced a substantial increase in the proportion of students who earned a credit in algebra, a critical course that is usually required both for high school graduation and for admission to college. Prior to the arrival of talent development, only about a third of the students in talent development schools and about 45% of students in comparison schools earned a credit in algebra in ninth grade. After the program began, the percentage of students passing algebra in talent development schools increased by 28 percentage points. The corresponding improvement was about three percentage points in the schools that were not working with talent development. This means that the impact of talent development was about 25 percentage points. Prior to talent development, attendance rates for incoming ninth graders were about 75%, and promotion rates from ninth to 10th grade were about 60% for both talent development and comparison schools. After the program began, attendance rates in the talent development schools improved by about five percentage points over the non-talent development schools, an average increase of about nine extra school days per year for each student. And the rate at which students were promoted from ninth to 10th grade, 
in the talent development schools rose by about eight percentage points over the non-talent development schools. The news for upper grades was also promising. Even into the 11th grade, talent development students had maintained their advantage in academic credits and promotion rates. Students who came through in the program's later and more mature years showed some improvements in 11th grade test scores, and there were early signs of positive impacts on graduation rates. The positive effects of talent development seem to be driven by two main factors, the intensity of the intervention for ninth graders and the structural and instructional reforms that created small supportive learning environments for students and teachers and enabled students to make progress on core academic curriculum. On the whole, the talent development findings provide encouraging evidence that real improvements can be made in some of the lowest performing high schools in the country. But these schools still face substantial challenges to realize the ultimate goal of preparing all students to graduate and enter post-secondary education or employment. For example, a typical ninth grader will still miss about 40 days of school. Nearly a third will not be promoted to the 10th grade on time, and more than half will not be ready to graduate within four years. Achieving the initial positive results required significant extra funds, approximately $250 to $350 per student per year, and very demanding changes to school organization, instruction, and teacher support. Still, the talent development findings show that the model is uncommonly effective across a variety of educational outcomes. Sustaining the positive results will require ongoing commitment and resources from schools and school districts. Additional findings can be found in the full report, Making Progress Toward Graduation, Evidence from the Talent Development High School Model. The study is posted in the education section of the MDRC website, where you can also find a report that draws practical lessons for school administrators from talent development and two other reform strategies. Thank you.